Welcome to Magnet Minutes. This is Jordan Kimmel with a special edition with a great colleague of mine, Ritika Hiranandani. And Ritika, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, Jordan. It's a pleasure being here. All righty. Well, let me just set this up for, for the listeners and the viewers. Ritika, you and I have uh, known each other a while. We've done business several times over the last few years. But today, the real reason to bring you on is I want to really thank you for the great contribution with the new book. Our new book just came out, Invest in the Now, 100 Inspirational Quotes to Inspire You in Your Now. And Ritika, before we get into the book, my only regret is really not having you on the cover because even though you only took credit for one chapter, you know that you and Trisha Bowman were really instrumental in the whole shape, design, and the feel of the book. So thanks so much for joining us again and to discuss the book. And uh, let's get into it. What do you think of the book? Oh, it's been a fabulous journey doing the book with you and Trisha. Uh, we started off, uh, you know, with little hesitation, thinking how we would collaborate and how we'd all put it together. But it all worked out beautifully. And uh, it's getting fantastic reviews. I mean, one review after the other, five-star ratings. So all I can say is, Jordan, thank you for the opportunity. I thank Trisha also. And uh, this looks like a tremendous book that we have produced and you know it's written very well by all of us i have got some good feedback from a lot of people a lot of family friends and yeah it's been fantastic and i'm looking forward to further sales and taking it to the next level well well let me just share you know this is unlike my old magnet books even though this is an investment book and i discussed magnet this is really more about mindset, about really being in the now, a way of thinking, and knowing you as a busy entrepreneur, um, I know that meditation, eating right, being in the now is something you've talked about for years. When we really started and thought about the book, I, I knew you'd make a great contribution to it. So, you know, share a little bit about your chapter and, and you know, what it means from your heart what you poured into the book. Yeah, I like to talk about being mindful because that was very important to me, being an entrepreneur and having lots of distractions at times with a lot of business opportunities coming my way. I felt it was very important to take the right steps in being mindful. So selecting the right opportunities and making sure that I am giving them a lot of time required me to also do a lot of meditation, introspection, and making sure that you know revenue is generated at a brisk level and without any kind of uh, hiccups that we encounter. So being mindful was is extremely important. And when I say being mindful, it's being mindful uh, in terms of how you think, what you consume, and also how you meditate uh, so that you get a spiritual uh, aspiration inside you to to further ahead in your goals and career. So I would say that uh, being mindful has been a very important aspect uh, for me in my life. That's why I wanted to put it in the book. Well, fantastic. And let's share, you know, this is really not the first time we've collaborated in co-authoring. We co-authored a great article for Forbes several years ago, as you and I were really talking about investments and, and what's going on with the relationship between India and the United States. It turns out, Riddick, I'm not surprised, the, the stock we selected did real well. But more, yes. important, but more importantly, the whole trend towards the U.S. and India relationships. You know, tell me what you felt over the last few years with the public involvement uh, in the population in India getting more interested. It's always been democratic, but there seems to be an acceleration in the interest of, of both their markets and our market as well. Yeah, the trade between India and the US Jordan in 2021 crossed $150 billion and it's going upwards in uh, United States is one of the largest trading partners of India. Uh, many US firms have set shop over there 
uh, companies like Amazon, to give you one example, has done a fantastic, got the whole world over there with their goods and their products. So um, the consumption story continues and India is a big market for US uh, companies and also for Indian companies to get to know the US and better and also to uh, find out what are the areas they can excel in. We have a team ready for them. So uh, we guide them all throughout and take them through their US business journey. And we look forward to more investments uh, coming between the two countries and more growth. And also, uh, like you said, a, a faster acceleration because things have changed uh, in India with the rise of the internet, social media, we see higher growth patterns in between these two markets. Right. And, and you know, it shows, you know, what's not lost to me, Ritika, is the fact that it's a democratic country. It's a country where we share a common language and yes. where we share a lot of values, frankly. And, and Absolutely. so- so one of the things I, I always talk about, Ritika, is new investors and, and young investors, uh, I like to use the expression, a little bit of knowledge is dangerous. And we see people sometimes get over their skis, if you will. One of the things that I've always thought about and, and you know, am, am impassioned about is the education side. And, and I think there's an opportunity for enhanced education to bring the U.S. market knowledge to India, and then also to bring the India companies. And there's so much technology and so many brilliant people doing great things with technology. Their infrastructure is being built out. I'm pretty sure the American markets and the worldwide markets would love to know more about India, India's companies, uh, and what's going on there. Yeah, education, like you said, Jordan, has always been up the sleeve of all Indians who want to uh, learn more about the uh, markets all over the world, especially the United States, uh, the different companies that are over here. And same thing for, for American companies who want to know about the U.S. market, uh, sorry, the India market. We see that the stock exchange is a great place to start with, to know what are the companies in India that are doing well and why they're doing well. So yes, we do set up study groups. We have partners who can set up uh, a good knowledge base uh, systems where there can be, uh, you know, a trade between the two countries and the areas of financial education. Right, right. And so let's just say this, uh, it's not a secret for us that Invest in the Now is only our first edition. Uh, I think we'll see an India edition of it. I see us uh, with some book signings over. Yes, absolutely. And yes. Uh, we've also talked about some conferences maybe some in the United States and, and some in India. And as we go along the journey, Ritika, again, I just wanted to thank you so much for the great involvement in Invest in the Now. And uh, I know there's a lot more to come behind it. Thank you, Jordan. It's my pleasure being here and looking forward to you being in India very soon. Well, thank you so much my, for your time. It will be my first I truly time. Appreciate right? Yes, I truly appreciate this association and the interactions that we've had. Thank you so much, Jordan. Well, fantastic. It, you know, as you know, my next trip to India will not be my first. I'm looking forward to the next. Yes. And let's bring it to a close here, Ritika. It's a great edition of Magnet Minutes with Ritika Hiran and Danny, an American entrepreneur certified by the Harvard Business School. And by the way, Ritika, before we round out, the education market has been you know, so important for you. I know over the last few years, you've done courses and certification programs uh, in many of the top institutions in the United States. And so I know that not only sharing education, but continuing education uh, is something top of your mind. Absolutely, always. The more knowledge you have, the better chances of winning always in life and all throughout your career. Well, fantastic. Ritika, let's sign off. It's Jordan Kimmel with Magnet Minutes.